Aries, this is your June monthly love reading. And if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising, Jupiter or Venus. All right, so let's see what is coming towards you overall for the month of June. We'll do the weeklies to see the weekly energy. But for now, let's check what is going to be overall for Aries in June. Let's look at your energy. You. Nine of Wands. And your partner. The Knight of Swords. Okay. You are the Queen of Wands. It's all your energy. You know, the Nine of Wands, Wands. It's all about fire sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. Knight of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. What is a mutual? The Two of Swords. And the Two of Wands. What I feel is that there is a confusion between you two. Both of you are confused. Yeah. Look at the bottom, the underlying energy, the sun. Okay? You both are chasing your happiness, want your happiness, want to start fresh, want to go towards something or be something else or start something. But what I feel is that with you, you're very passionate towards whatever beginning you want could be in love could be in your general life but you're very passionate towards something something that uh, you think or do very pa you're very passionate about now what is happening is that because you're so passionate about it your guards are up you are not ready to tolerate any neg neg any negativity against it Okay, so there are objections. What I feel is you fear that there will be objections, but you are standing tall. You are on guard. You are on watch because you know what you want and you are, it's like I'm staying put to what I want. If it's a person, if it's a relationship, no matter you know, for some Aryans, it could be that there is family objection and uh, people find this relationship weird or not up to your standard or not good for you. But again, with your energy, I see that you are guarding it. You have built your walls high against any objection. Because you're very passionate about this person. You want to be with this person or you want to create this relationship. So it could be somebody new. It could be somebody existing. But whoever it is, you have taken fancy on somebody for which you are very guarded. You're very guarded on your relationship. You will not tolerate any resistance in on this relationship. All right? So that is your energy now look at your partner your partner could be you know somebody who is a bit rude could sound rude but your partner uh, is somebody who demands the truth I won't say rude yeah I mean they're uncouth in their communication now this is tarot energies can completely flip all right so don't write comments or don't put comments like this was completely the opposite. It can happen. Opposites do happen. This is tarot. Okay. So the other person I feel is very, um, is somebody who is only interested in the truth. Is somebody who is very focused and very dedicated in whatever they do. So if it's you, they're very dedicated to you. If it's their work, they're very dedicated to their work. But it's like whatever it is, whatever takes their fancy, 
They're very focused. So if it's you, they'll be always for you, with you, or doing things for you. If it's their work, you'll find them. They are the kind of person who would be married to their work. You know? So it's like that. Very dedicated person. And at the same time, this person, uh, the problem is that this person is, is very, you know, very swift. Doesn't think much. It's like they work first, they think later. They talk first, then they think. But whatever they say, they say it out of truth. They don't lie. They don't, they don't lie to you. But they're very fast in their communication. They're very fast and sometimes they're very uncouth. They don't know what they're saying. So maybe it's like, you know, you're very passionate about them and you take them to meet your parents or introduce this person to your parents and this guy or this girl goes there and speaks her heart out without being diplomatic. Say something, you know, which, which raises eyebrows. And so your family starts objecting. But when they ob object to this person, you are standing your guard. You will not take, maybe there's an age difference because you are the queen. They are the knight. Maybe there is an age difference. <coughs> this person could be, if you are a woman, then this guy could be younger to you. If you're a man, then this woman could be elder to you. You know, it's like that. There's an age difference, which you know, or maybe that's the reason your family objects to it. Or there's a mentality difference because you are more grounded, passionate, full of energy. You know how to strategize. You know how to work towards it. And whereas this person is very focused, knows how to do the work, but is uncouth and very fast. They don't think. They don't think much. Look at your mutual energy. Two of swords with the two of wands. So you both want to take this relationship to a passionate uh, space where you both are together. You both want to come towards each other. But at the same time, you both seem to be a bit tactless in this relationship. You don't know. You feel stuck at times. Hey, both of you feel stuck at times. You're like, I don't know. Maybe my family is right. Or maybe I'm right. Maybe I should watch this guy more or this girl more before I commit. Maybe I need to check the facts. And the next moment, so you are in your mind. You know, both of you, you're in your mind. So you are a kind of relationship where I say that you will be making up, breaking up, making up, breaking up. It's like today you're made up and you're having fun. And tomorrow again, you're in your mind. And you're again fighting. And when it comes to fights, this person, believe me, is the fighter cock. This fight person can fight. Oh, how this person loves to fight. So whenever there's a fight, it leaves you feeling more guarded. Your gods are high. But again, you're passionate. You want to build something with them. So again, you two go back to the two of wands. You're my destiny. I want to be with you. And you reconcile. You patch up. Again, this person, this person is very focused on you. Okay? But only thing is, maybe they ask a lot of questions. They have this, you know, habit of snooping. They ask you a lot of questions. They need to know the truth of everything. You went out with your friends. What were you talking about? So you, you'll give some answer and they won't be happy. They'll probe further. Now, what were you talking about me? What was discussed? What exactly did your friend say? What exactly did you say? So that sometimes, you know, makes you think or feel, am I doing the right thing? Am I being with the right person? And the next moment, again, 
you feel no maybe this is my guy this is my girl you know so it's it's a very confusing energy between you two very confusing let's see more so this confusion i feel is going to stay the entire month with both of you it's all about communication it's all about the way you communicate with each other okay so let's see more what is it what is it with aries and their person aries and their person seven of swords yes you do fight you do fight aries or maybe you're not getting as much as you are investing in the relationship and with the other person the empress could be dealing with an earth sign because eight of pentacles empress could be a taurus virgo capricorn or as i said could be somebody with air in the chart or it could be an earth sign with air in the chart or air sign with earth in this chart but definitely a lot of fire elements are here the wands the nine of wands the two of wands so this is you there is your sage but this is again fire i mean you have air you have pentacles and the strangest part is i don't see any cups here so emotions are less your emotions are more about passion and not emotion you don't feel about this emotionally you feel about this passionately you know or you think about this practically even with this person it is more about they want to create something with you you are somebody you know or or it could be a reason that the your partner is pregnant they're pregnant but maybe they they you know it could be for some aries maybe they are you found out that they're pregnant and you don't know what to do whether to marry them or whether to just continue living with them and your family objects to this relationship saying this girl is not right for you but so you are in your mind you don't know what to do okay and you're fighting i see you're fighting or somewhere you i feel you have to compromise in certain things maybe you will you're not getting the word you know the complete return as you were expecting you know or sometimes you may feel or you may be cheating with yourself aries you could be fighting in 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 yourself that am i doing the right thing you know that kind of feeling sometimes you feel yes you're doing the right thing and the next time you feel no maybe not So I see this a lot of confusion. The other person is not confused towards you. They want to with, be with you and they're very focused on you, but only thing is their communication. They're very blunt with their communication. What's your mutual 7 of pentacles? You both are very patient. Very patient with each other. I'm the hangman. Okay. All right, Aries, what I feel is you both need a bit of patience and you need to change your look out you both need to change the way you perceive the world the way you perceive this relationship the way you perceive each other i think that perception that change in perception needs to happen because it's too much as i said there is confusion okay you both seem to be very confused This person is focused on you. They have no doubt about you. Don't think they doubt you. Or this could be you. One of you in the relationship, okay, let's keep it simple. One of you in the relationship is very focused, wants to be with the other person. And but only thing is they they are a, when it comes to their communication, they're bad. they don't know what to say and when to say they don't have that and because of their communication the other person 
though the other person is also very passionate about the relationship and very guarded, is guarding uh, this relationship against others. I see this person very guarded and... Uh, but I feel this person feeling a bit conflicted. Maybe this person is conflicted in their mind regarding this relationship. So one moment they're guarded against outsiders and the next moment they're guarded against this person. But they know that you, I mean, this person is their fancy. So there is some far doubt, some, some they're guarded. Now, this guarded thing could be against, and they're fighting, okay? They're conflicted, they're guarded. Why? They're not against outsiders. Maybe there is too much of outside influence, which is, uh, you know, kind of, uh, they, they are standing up for this person or this relationship, okay? They're trying to stand up, but... Or it could be that at times the other person feels that if if this is Aries, then the other person might feel that Aries is a bit guarded, doesn't open up, is conflicted, fights a lot. And when it comes to fighting, oh, you cannot win with this person. This person loves to fight. So it's like when you are guarded against each other, you fight a lot. And when you are guarding this relationship, you fight you you fight people outside, you know? What I see in the mutual is you both, again, as I said, in and out energy, both want to be with each other but don't know how. So you need to bring in some diplomacy. You need to be a bit more tactful in handling each other, be a bit more diplomatic and maybe try to Look at each other from a different perspective. Try seeing each other in a new light. And be patient. I think patience is the problem here. Because you, Aries, being an air sign, your patience is very low. This person is equally impatient. So if both of you are impatient, you know how the relationship can go. Just check the outcome. But... It's all about conflicts. Okay, just be patient. Change change the way you think about each other, okay? Let's see. What is the outcome? What is the possible outcome if you both change? If you both change the way you look at each other or think about each other, what is the possible outcome if you change the way you think about each other? Show me the possible outcome. All right, here you go. Okay, see, anxiety. Anxiety. You both are very, you know, as I said, very guarded, very anxiety. And these are pent pentacles. So, just be patient, okay? There is something good. There's a new offer. There's a new offer. Because if you continue with being this anxious, here comes it. Three of souls. There's going to be a heartbreak. You're going to break each other's heart if you're not patient, okay? If you're patient, yeah, see? Three of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords. So as I said, seven of swords, but the ace of pentacles is here. The ace of pentacles is here. So, if you want this Ace of Pentacles, this might sound very little. This might sound very less, something very small to start with in the relationship. But I feel you both are very, very um, guarded. You both are suffering from this anxiety. Both of you are feeling kind of stuck. That is the reason the Two of Swords is also here. So maybe it's it's all to do with your mind. You both are very up in your mind against each other. And you both feel hurt by each other. Maybe you don't like the way this person communicates. Or maybe this person is married to their work. They're always talking about their work. 
they pay less attention to you and when you ask them they're very rude on on your face but somewhere you know they are for you this is for aries who are already in a relationship maybe your honeymoon period is over okay and now this person is all about pentacles all about work and doesn't pay that the passion is missing or it could be that there is a lot of objection to this relationship from external and aries you're fighting for it you're standing guard against it but you're not getting that support that you should be getting from this person so at times you feel anxious you feel hurt you feel stuck and you don't know what to do but what you actually want is the two of wands and the ace of pentacles some fresh new beginning some something that will you know be good between you two the other person also i feel wants to be with you or has started taking you for granted it's like where will this aries go she is mine he is mine but they 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 want you okay but as i say that this relationship has a lot of thoughts a lot of mind games a lot of thoughts that i haven't seen a single cup till now not a single cup so not you both are not very emotional people you both are not very emotional people it could be that aries you're connecting with an air sign or an earth sign i mean it's all about pentacles and uh it's all about uh swords mental energy so uh, gemini libra aquarius or taurus virgo capricorn you know is somebody you're connecting with has that in the chat and i feel you both are very conflicted about each other so this month what you should do what should aries do to advise for my aries and their partner maybe aries you can okay here comes maybe aries you are you too lazy you're not seeing that walls are cracking walls are cracking you're not seeing it and yeah you dream you're daydreaming a lot okay it's 9 and 6 it's again about thoughts 9 9 6 okay so if you keep if you're like this in this energy then i feel it's going to only stop focusing on your sorrows i think you're focusing too much on your sorrows show me more ripeness look at this aries 999 so you both need to transform okay you need to transform aries why because look at this this ripeness uh, i mean this laziness card number 9 okay now this is nine of cups this is like wish fulfillment but your wishes get fulfilled with this person you feel too lazy around this person but you're not noticing that this person is sitting having a good time but the mirrors around them around this person is cracking so it's time you pay attention so that and you have the nine of swords here Okay so there are too many nines on your end Aries so it's time you change the way you think and you daydream a lot it's it's your fantasy okay you fantasize about this person and you you fantasize about a good relationship and when that doesn't happen when this your fantasy of yours doesn't match the reality of yours it ends up in sorrow you feel again a card number 9 so you feel so sad but look at this nine of pentacles you don't need to be sad all you need to is, do is to open up and share with each other again card number 9 So your advice has three nines and one six. So it's all about change, transformation, the way you think. 
Aries, this month, I feel instead of feeling up in your mind regarding this person and doubting this person or fighting, I feel if you want your Ace of Pentacles, if you want something nice, something good to start, then stop being lazy. Stop thinking about your past sorrows. Stop daydreaming, okay? Instead, focus on the fruits that have ripened. Be patient. There was a seven of pentacles here. Yes, I remember. Be patient. Be patient with this relationship. Let these fruits ripen. Once they do, you have the ripe fruits. And once your fruits have ripened, pluck them. Enjoy them. So, I feel you need to give this relationship a chance. I feel you need to just come out of your mind. Stop thinking so much, so negative about this person and stop dreaming. Because as I feel for some areas, I told you, maybe for this person, it's like the honeymoon period is over. So, now they're focused more on work. They are more about the practical side of the relationship. They want to create something with you. Or, as I said, some for some areas, your partner could be pregnant. So they are thinking about that. They're focusing more on that, on the new person that is going to come in your life. And you, I see, very guarded, very conflicted. You're passionate about this person, but sometimes you do think about whatever they have said or done in the past, and you are still dwelling in the past. And you daydream a lot about that. And because of that, you're not seeing that you're, you, you end up feeling sad because this is not what they had said when you were dating. This is not what they had said when you had just got married. This is not what uh, they had said when... You know, so that kind of feeling. But you're not seeing that your relationship is beyond this honeymoon period. It's beyond that, okay? It's ripened. It's matured now. It's a matured relationship. So it'll not be like that young relationship as you when, when you two were dating or when you two had just married. It's more grounded a relationship now. So if you want this relationship to work or if you want to, so you need to stop being lazy, put some effort in the relationship, stop dreaming, stop thinking about what has happened in the past, how sad you were with this relationship and instead focus on what has matured, all right? So just change your focus. Let's see some oracle advice for you. Have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Have faith and dream big. Why are you thinking about all the sorrows? Stop thinking about the sorrows. Just have faith. Okay? And think about all the good things that are there in the relationship. And dream big. Even better things can come to your this this relationship it can manifest even better things so stop thinking about what has happened in the past stop thinking about where this person has hurt you stop thinking about stop being in your mind and see how mature this relationship is now enjoy those matured fruits don't think about when it was just blooming or when the, there were flowers in the tree you miss those flowers but you are you fail to see the fruits all right, Aries? So it's just that you need to change the way you think about this relationship. All right. Hope you have a wonderful month, Aries. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if this made sense. I'll see you later with your weeklies. Until then, stay in love. Bye.